Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to look at more of the weapon changes the new expansion brings. This video will feature content from the beta for Bow and Insect Glaive. I have already covered several other weapons, feel free to check them out. All my beta video links are in the description. If you like my content, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Let's start with Bow. This weapon was already in a strong position before the expansion, so it hasn't seen a huge number of changes, but it does have a new skill called Thousand Dragons. This move requires Slinger ammo. To perform the skill, hold down the L2 button and press R3 to ready the shot. Keep the L2 pressed and then triangle and circle together. If you don't prepare the shot, you'll end up firing Dragon Piercer instead since it shares the same button combo. This is a short ranged attack, so we'll do more damage while close up. The type of Slinger ammo used also affected damage, piercing doing the most. But I still need to check out Crystal Burst. I do believe each ammo type carries over its own properties to the shot. In reality, you'll just be picking up whatever you can get your hands on during combat if you intend to use this shot often. It is affected by both power and close range coatings, but not by bow charging. Here is a damage comparison to some of the other bow skills without coatings. Please bear in mind that this is the beta and nothing is optimised skill wise. The armours we were given had next to no skills. I will do more testing and build options when the expansion releases and I have access to my own character. Bo's clutch claw weapon attack also drops slinger ammo so it's useful to keep ammo topped up for more opportunities to use thousand dragons. Bo like all other weapons can use the clutch claw skill to inflict flint shot on the monster sending the monster or wagon in the direction it's facing. However this attack consumes all your slinger ammo. Overall, I think this move is a nice addition to bow and adds more variety to gameplay. Let's look at Insect Glaive. This weapon again has access to the flint shot through using the clutch claw. The Insect Glaive can activate a mid-air claw attack by pressing L2 while in the air, making it very easy to use. It can use the clutch claw on the ground as well like all the other weapons. The clutch claw Insect Glaive weapon attack causes the monster to drop slinger ammo, which can be used to power up the Kinset. Depending on what type of ammo you use depends on the type of buff you can add. It only consumes one ammo to power up. If you use a slinger ammo dropped by a monster, the kinset will be charged up with power, displayed by a red icon. This increases kinset attack power and decreases the interval when kinset powder is released. If you use a slinger ammo found in the field, the kinset will be charged up with spirit, displayed by a yellow icon. This increases the Kinsect's maximum stamina and the duration of the hybrid effect for combining three colours, excluding green which just heals. Another extra benefit of charging your Kinsect is you are able to harvest up to two extracts as well as extending durations. You can do this manually by sending your Kinsect to gather the essence or you can take advantage of the new move, Descending Thrust, which can be activated by pressing R2 in the air. This new move not only deals damage but marks the monster in that spot causing the Kinsect to attack, spreading Kinsect powder and allowing you to retrieve extracts to power yourself up. The different coloured extracts are obtained from attacking different parts of the monster. Red gives attack and is usually acquired from the head, white gives movement speed and usually acquired from wings and legs, orange gives defence and some knockback resistance usually obtained from the body, green is usually from tails and provides a small heal. If you collect all the extracts at once, the buffs are even stronger. This change in Iceborne has a bigger impact on DPS and survivability than what first appears. This is a nice buff for Insect Glaive, not just for damage but also quality of life by making it much easier to extract and keep buffs active. Overall, I think Insect Glaive users will be very happy with the changes as I'm sure you will be making use of them in every fight. The Thousand Dragons from Bow looks very promising as well and I'd love to test it out further when the expansion goes live in September. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.